हेलो नमस्कार एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फिजियो ट्रेंड्स दिस इज मी फिजियो प्रेम शाह एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर एट विकास कॉलेज ऑफ फिजियोथेरापी मैंगलोर एंड फ्रेंड्स इन टुडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू ऑल सस्पेंशन थेरापी फॉर लोअर लिंग आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू सस्पेंशन थेरापी फॉर हिप ज्वाइंट एबडक्शन एडक्शन एज वेल एज फ्लेक्शन एंड एक्सटेंशन ऑफ द नी ज्वाइंट so for suspending hip joint we first are going to measure the axis point or axial point from the reference of the asis to the suspension mesh because we are doing the axial suspension and the reason behind that is we want to produce movements so whenever we want range of motion we are going to use axial suspension that is the basic rule of suspension therapy so this is the exact point where i have got about the asis for this particular side of the limb where i am going to put both suspension units one for suspending the middle part of the lower limb which is somewhere passing around the knee joint with the help of sling i am going to suspend that and another one for suspending foot with the help of ring sling so which also again with the help of dog clip i have suspended now in this one problem is that when you are trying to perform adduction movement opposite side of the limb is going to restrict the movement of adduction so to avoid that we ask patient to keep his foot down or out of the couch so that easily patient can perform adduction as well as abduction in full range of motion the next point is we have to lift the suspension units always remember for lower limb you will start with the proximal segment first so i am lifting the proximal segment first and then i am going to lift the distal segment once the required height is achieved we can assist patient for performing adduction and abduction or patient also can perform this movement actively which is adduction and abduction so this is how we can get adduction abduction in supine lying position using two suspension units and once the adduction abduction is done and you want to remove suspension for removing first we will initiate from the distal component and then we will go for the proximal always component always remember so when you want to lift proximal segment first and when you want to put it down distal segment first now for flexion and extension of the hip joint again patient will be in side lying position and reference point for the line of axis will be greater trochanter we are going to use a rope to start from greater trochanter to the suspension mesh this is the point i have got for suspending the unit just like the abduction and adduction we have to suspend this both suspension units over that point one for the middle part of the lower limb which is somewhere around the knee joint where the cog lies for this lower limb so i am suspending it first and another one is from the foot with the help of ring sling so this is the point where i am suspending it from the foot now as i told you before also first we have to lift the proximal segment so i'll be starting with this segment lifting it off and then we have to lift the distal segment yes and this is how we can maintain the hip joint in slight abduction and then we can initiate the flexion extension but here one problem is that the below leg we have to keep it straight or we have to keep it flexed from the knee joint so that it is giving a better support for producing more movement in the hip joint flexion and extension so this is how we can get flexion extension of the hip joint in the side lying position using suspension units now moving forward to hip joint internal and external rotation in long lever position for which patient will be in supine lying position and remember in this we are going to require this single pulley suspension unit there is no need of axial or vertical suspension simply we have to put patient slim on the sling in such a way that foot is outside of the sling and easily we can perform this internal 
or external rotation or patient also can actively perform this internal external rotation with the help of this pulley. So this is how with the use of single pulley suspension in long lever position we can produce internal external rotation for the hip joint. Now the next joint for lower limb suspension therapy is knee joint and for knee joint flexion extension patient position is in side lying position with a pillow in between two legs as well as we are going to suspend the suspension unit exactly above the knee joint line which is for the axial suspension this is, so this is the point where i have got for the axial suspension i am going to suspend this suspension unit then with the help of ring sling put on the foot i am going to apply this dock clip over it and then lifting off this suspension unit up and then we can easily ask patient to perform flexion and extension of the knee joint and also actively patient can perform this flexion extension of knee joint in this particular position now remember my friends that in any suspension therapy of any joints we have to perform it in gravity eliminated plane and that is why first you have to find out that position for performing the range of motion and then find out the line of axis and you can easily get started with any joint any range of motion suspension therapy now if you have any doubts you can write me in the comment section as well as anything you want to know more about suspension therapy please write me on my insta dm or my facebook page or you can also connect with me on my linkedin profile and if you like this information please like share and subscribe to my channel physio trends for more and more videos like this thank you so much